Hi everyone, it's Ashley back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm going to be answering some questions that you have sent me. Um, I wanted to say thank you if you watched my first video and if you commented, I really appreciate it. Let's start. So the primer I'm going to be using is the Luminous Putty Primer from e.l.f in the shade universal glow good for my dry skin you know oh let me put my hair back i look insane i'm breaking out because i wear a mask every day to work and like this whole area is breaking out i started to use my tea tree oil serum and vitamin c to see if that helps because last time it cleared it right up and the first question is are you single no sir i'm not single <laughs> i'm married a whole wife and we got married in march of 2021 yeah 2021 but i'm really happy if you guys want to know how me and my husband met and all of that let me know we could do a video about that but yeah i'm married let's use some fenty this is the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating longwear foundation i wear the shade 190 and the next question is what do you do for a living i went to school for chemistry and i just graduated in may and a week before graduation i actually was blessed to find a job and I'm currently working in quality control. The place I work at makes um, some products, setting sprays, tinted moisturizers, shampoos and stuff like that. And then we just check that all the products are okay and stuff like that. It's a good first job for me because I'm into formulation, but yeah. I do that <laughs> okay so now that my foundation is blended let's move into the next question the next question is what would you say your decor style is i love this question i have gotten a lot into decorating since we were planning to get our apartment and i've become obsessed and when i say obsessed i mean obsessed and listen if i had the money for it i would definitely like have like a organic modern feel you know but i don't so i have like more of like a boho scandinavian thing going on in our home and i just wanted it to be really cozy and neutral and somewhere that we would like coming home to every day so it worked out and i really love it I like the Huga vibes, like the Huga feeling. It looks really cozy and lived in. And I didn't want anything too out there. I like the focus being on like the feeling. And people have told me they liked it and that they feel really comfortable here. So I'm really grateful. I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. And I use shade 115 Warm Light. The next question is, do you have any kids? And the answer is no. I don't have any kids. Um, I do want kids. Um, now is just not the moment, you know? But that's like the number one question everyone asks you when you get married. Like, when are you having kids? I'm like, I'm 22 years old. It doesn't have to be that serious, but... I am getting a little baby fever, especially because I miss being around babies. There's always babies in my family, but my nephew lives in Florida, so we don't get to see him that much, and I don't get to see my niece that much either, once in a while, but it will happen. I just can't even tell you when. I hope the lighting's okay. It is not a good day outside. It looks super rainy. Um, but I'm 
determined to have a good day <laughs> because we are going to a Christmas market near where I live. I love doing these wintry things because Christmas is my favorite. If you watched my last video, you would know I'm in love with the, this season and I just want to do as many Christmas activities as I can since last year was a bit of a, a flop. So I'm excited about that. Let's get into our next question. It says, where are you from or where do you live? So I live in Pennsylvania. I've always lived here, at least for most of my life. I couldn't tell you if I like it better or worse than other places. I really don't know. I more care about where my family is. If my family's here, I'm good. But yeah, I live in Pennsylvania. Let's do some powder. I have the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is the only one that I use under my eyes. This is the translucent one. If you have any recommendations for a face powder, let me know. Because I am pretty dry, so sometimes this looks a little not good cakey on me. At the next question is what inspired you to make a YouTube channel? What really inspired me to make a YouTube channel was the fact that during COVID, my family really wanted to visit, see our apartment and be involved in all this stuff and we really couldn't. And making these videos is one way that like, you know, they can see what's going on, how I'm doing, how I decorate it, all that stuff. Not that they haven't seen some of it, but you know, it's easier this way. Also, it just seemed fun, hopefully. It will continue to be fun. I'm having fun so far and seeing all your comments. And I'm sorry if I keep covering my face with this mirror. I'm not used to this yet. It's my first sit down video. So Next, I'm gonna do my bronzer. I've been using this bronzer for so long. It looks really tragic, honestly. It's the butter bronzer in just the original bronzer shade and it smells amazing. The next question is, what is your favorite Christmas cookie? I think my favorites are just like those little sugar cookies with the little pictures on them. I had like elf ones this year and Christmas tree ones. They just like remind me of my childhood and they really put me in the Christmas spirit. So I really love those. I think those are my favorite. But I also really love snickerdoodles. I have like a newfound love for snickerdoodle cookies. I just like can't stop once I have one. So I don't keep those here. We're looking like something. I like to put some under my chin so we can disguise her a little bit. Let's do some blush. My favorite blush is this Burt's Bees blush in toasted cinnamon. It's the best. I watch um, Kathleen Lights and she really liked this one. She was using, using it like nonstop. And then when I tried it, I was like, yes. It gives you like this warm look. Look at that. So pretty, I love it. Put a little here on the nose. Okay, so let's do my eyebrows. I am going to be using the Morphe X James Charles palette. I don't really know what to use for my brows right now. Every time I use a brow pencil, it goes so quick. So I've been using this powder in here. It's called, it's called T. It's this one right here in the corner. question is what is your favorite Christmas activity and this is so hard because I love everything about Christmas but maybe we'll just talk about a few of them so this year is our first year um, being in our apartment we have really liked just drinking hot cocoa and watching Christmas movies a few times a week and that's been really fun because I feel like I never have time to watch all the Christmas movies I want to watch. But we've watched a few so far. We watched Home Alone, the first one. Elf, Jingle All the Way with Arnold 
Schwarzenegger, is that how you say his name? That one was a roller coaster for me. A lot of anxiety. I didn't know what was happening at some parts. And I always watched the little um, cartoon ones on my own, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, all those. Also, I love looking at Christmas lights. Yesterday, actually, we just went around um, the neighborhood and looked at Christmas lights and all the Christmas lights that were up. I still want to do um, lights in the parkway or something. Maybe go to, I heard the zoo has some lights. But yeah, maybe those two are my favorites. I also love baking around the holidays. And we did this thing, um, was it last month or in the beginning of the month? I think it was last month where we had like a cookie baking party. All my friends brought cookie dough and we baked cookies and ate together and played some games. So that was really fun. Okay, let's call the brows done because I could spend years working on these things. Let's do highlight. I've been a little, you know, light on the highlight lately. I feel like I'm not into the blinding thing anymore. So I use this um, brush, it's really fluffy. And I take some of this shade right here in the middle. It's like the perfect highlight shade for me. It's like a uh, champagne, champagne gold color. And I just go over this area and it kind of gives it a little sheen compared to the other side. And then I'll do my cupid's bow and my, the tip of my nose. Someone said, how did you get into makeup? Uh, ever since I was little, I was obsessed with makeup. I am not so much anymore. I don't really experiment that much anymore because of the whole mask thing. Like, I really don't feel comfortable wearing makeup all the time, which kind of sucks, you know. I know that I probably would be wearing more makeup if it wasn't for that, but... I used to try to like do wings on myself in like the fourth grade and they were so bad. I'm sure I can find a picture of it, but they were really, really bad. But my mom always just let me um, experiment and, you know, try to express myself. I used to wear like blue eyeshadow. Ay, ay, ay. A fun time. But I'm really appreciative for that because now I actually know how to do my makeup. And I look kind of decent, you know? If she didn't let me wear it, that would be kind of sad. And when I got older, I kind of found my groove and um, I tried to experiment here and there. And a lot of people say they like it. I'm not the best, you know, I'm not the best, but I like doing it on occasion. Okay, so since we're going to a Christmas market, I was thinking classic wing eyeliner red lipstick but that's kind of bold while i'm recording so let's just all say a prayer that it comes out good because i don't want to look ugly today i honestly need a new eyeliner this you can't even see what's on it but it's um it's just a liquid eyeliner from the drugstore I think that's good enough. What do you guys think? Let's answer another question while I do my mascara. Well, the next question is, what's your go-to thing to do to decompress? To decompress, I like to, if possible, I like to color. That's such a little kid thing to say, but I like coloring. I got a few adult coloring books as gifts and I love them. It's like the most relaxing thing to do. I also like to just flip on some worship music that like makes me go into a chill state much quicker than anything, especially like when I have anxiety and something like that. I always put worship music on and it helps me a lot. Way I am using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I've been using this mascara since like high school. Not the same one, but 
this formula because it makes your lashes look so long and I have pretty long eyelashes but they're very very straight so you can't see them like look at this hello where is she okay so lashes are on I'm wearing just Ardell wispies and I've been wanting to start wearing more lashes I'm just I just can't be bothered to put lashes on half of the time I'm just too lazy but looks pretty cute so let's answer another question while we wait for these to dry someone asked how do you balance work being a new wife and what are your goals for the upcoming year so a lot has changed in like a year like I graduated got a new job got married moved out of my parents house living with one other person and to me the most important thing for me was to have a schedule plan out my week I have like this really big board on my fridge where I say all the stuff that we have to do what day we're gonna do it um grocery list um and meals of the week and all of that and just sticking to that plan and also, you know, saying no to things. I can't do everything. And especially when you're trying to adjust to, you know, changes in your life, you can't do all the same things you used to do. So just finding boundaries um, with anyone really and just choosing what's important to you and what you want to do and what you want to put your time to. And that's really helped me a lot also picking a job picking a job that's not going to stress you out to the point where you can't have a balance in your life and that's the only thing that you're going to care about that was really important to me when i was picking a job and i'm really happy where i decided to go because i really don't feel as stressed as i feel a lot of people are right now but yeah I hope that answers the first part of the question. And then what was the next part? What are your goals for the upcoming year? Mm, I, I never set goals for the year. I have goals in general. Um, I want to be consistent with my content on here. I want to learn how to cook more things. I want to spend time with my family. Uh, hmm. And I have other goals that I'm working on, but those are some good ones, I guess. Um, another question was, what are your plans for your channel and what can we all expect to see? I have no expectations. I'm just going to make the content that feels right and whatever you guys want to see. If you have something that you want to see, please leave a comment down below and let me know. And I'll see if I can do that. But I feel like I just have a lot of things to talk about and this is going to be the place where I do that. I love decorating. I can't wait to take the Christmas stuff down and show you guys how our apartment usually looks. This room you haven't seen because this room is not decorated for Christmas. This is our office so you'll see that soon. I really love um baby name videos i'm gonna do some baby name lists because i have a lot i have a lot and i'm really excited for that um so home content um also i want to do vlogs during the week and my life is not that you know exciting so i just want to you know record when i do something different so um let me know if you guys want to see something specific in the comment section but yeah, let's take these bad babies off and then do a lip color. So I wore this last week and it stayed on so perfectly, even when I ate and all that. So this is a ColourPop lippy sticks in the color Trust Me. And this is the Matte X formula. Can y'all see it? Probably not. But it's like the perfect red color. It's so pretty and perfect for the holidays.
that just took us to another level oh my gosh so those were all the questions and some of you actually sent me some um, ideas for videos to come too so i really appreciate that thank you i feel ready for this christmas market now thank you guys for joining me and stay with me to get ready if this was your first time seeing one of my videos and you liked it please consider subscribing please like and comment if you like the video please let me know any videos you guys want to see in the future on this channel and i'll see you guys next time bye